What's up guys? So today I have an international Yabo. So this is from Australia. So let's see what's going on in here. First off, we have a very cool Hot Wheels. Uh, this is a Ford GT40. Very neat. I actually started collecting Hot Wheels um, only when I got my Challenger and only Challengers. <laughs> I just happened to see a couple Matchbox and um, you know Hot Wheel variants. Not my exact one, of course, the Hellcats and stuff, which is kind of cool, but I just have a handful of them, as well as the car from Christine. So here's a quick little tidbit. My wife, Christina, was named after the car from the horror movie Christine. Um, my wife's mom, my mother-in-law, didn't like you know Christine for a name, so she made it Christina with no H. So, true story. Um, if you've never seen that movie, it's kind of goofy, but my, my uh, wife's father um, loved that movie. So much so, he named his daughter after it. So yeah, check that out if you haven't seen it before. But anyway, besides that, we looks like we have two knives here. So we'll go ahead and read this note first. It says, Hi Jeff, uh, hope you're well. As mentioned in our IG chat, I've wanted to send you some stuff, so here they are. Uh, the Mantis Tough Tony is a decent knife, uh, though the finish isn't great. The real steel Gerfalcon, uh, on the other hand, is an excellent knife. Hope you don't have these yet, so you can add them to your collection, but feel free to trade them off. Anyway, have a great day, and stay safe. Cheers from Ivan. Thank you so much, Ivan. This was extremely generous of you, and especially, you know, spending the money to ship it halfway around the world. It just, you know, still blows me away how nice everyone is to me all the time. Um, but yeah, let's check these out. So we have a Mantis Tough Tony. I've never seen this one before, MT-9C, all right, or at least I've never heard of it, so I'm assuming, no, I have not seen it. This one, this is a chunky little guy, look at this. So super fat, a little tough Tony from Mantis Knives, all right, we have a opening slot here, not too hard to, uh, to open, you know, a little detent there, and man, I felt that spring, that, that liner lock shoot over. So, kind of cool. I like it. Uh, it is super fat. All right, so like the thumb rest works really well. Um, I do feel that pocket clip digging in just a little bit here. He was talking about the uh, the finish and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I get that. As far as Mantis knives go, I do get questions occasionally on different brands that aren't maybe as well known. I mean, plenty of people know about Mantis knives. Uh, I mean, they're kind of hit and miss for me. There's definitely some models that I like, definitely some models I don't like. I love the uh, Veja Du <laughs> little weird Balasong Karambit that they have. Um, there's several other folders that I've used before. And, and like I said, just kind of middle of the road, nothing blows me away. Uh, they do have some interesting innovation though, and definitely some different designs. But as far as their quality, like I said, just kind of eh, half and half. It really just depends on which model I guess you're talking about specifically. But yeah, super cool. Let's check out that, that lock up. It is super, super tight lock up. No wiggle at all. And even though it's a liner lock, it is a beefy liner which I guess goes with the entire theme of this, you know, short, fat, uh, stubby little knife. But that can probably get the job done just fine. Don't know the blade steel on this one offhand, and it's not marked on the blade, but super cool. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And it goes in that way. Let's go ahead and check out this other knife here. All right, from Real Steel, the H5 Gerfalcon. All right, Ger Falcon, Ger Falcon. I'm gonna go with Ger Falcon. It's uh, 7751 in black. I like Real Steel. Um, I've never had anything bad from Real Steel, and they're pretty affordable knives as well. So I uh, definitely like them overall as a as a uh, brand. But yeah, so you can see a bunch of their other models here. Tons of stuff. The Metamorph. Uh, I've had a couple of those at this point. I mean, I've had probably I don't know two or three of these that are on this list, but Super cool. And back here, I don't know if this is, I oh, was just showing, you know, difference between liner lock, all right, button lock, frame lock. That's kind of cool. This little schematic back lock, at least for their knives. So yeah, pretty cool paperwork. We have a little write up, looks like, on this one specifically. I, I'm telling you, I love this. Every company should do this. Why not? Why not give all the specs on a piece of paper inside of the box with the knife, right? So our blade steel 14C28N. We got some G10 for our handle. And there's a frame lock. Super cool. So, on to the knife. Get a little reveal here. Ooh. 
this looks nice all right so looks like stainless for our uh lock side <laughs> man that i like this one that one uh flicked out real nice super smooth lockup is perfect no issues there this is kind of cool we got a g10 um lock bar stabilizer insert which is a little bit different haven't seen that before i haven't seen this model you know there's so many knives out there it's just hard to keep up with everything uh, I also do like that there's G10 inserts around these like oversized thumb studs. That's kind of cool too. I can definitely dig that. I'd love to see this in other colors as well, but this black is cool. I don't know. I don't think the lanyard came with this, um, but I haven't put a nice lanyard on here, it looks like. I do like it. I like the style a lot. Reminds me of a Chris Reeves or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, that's comfortable. That is comfortable in the hand. Simple design, nice lock up, super smooth, flips out great. Love the blade. Uh, you know profile here blade geometry and whatnot uh it does have a, a softer steel in here but hey as long as you get sharpen your knives not a problem at all nice lanyard tube again throwing the lanyard on there i'll probably leave this lanyard on here i actually like it i don't necessarily need it for, for grip or anything but you know it just kind of looks nice it's done well but yeah super cool never saw either one of these knives so thank you so much i really appreciate that that was a it's just a really generous gift i, I really can't thank you enough um you know everyone everyone out there but but ivan this is your video and i really do appreciate it. it was such a nice surprise that's all you know i get all kinds of things in the mail and occasionally you know I just get a package and like i said this one all the way from uh, australia it's just really exciting for me I, I love you know getting stuff from from all around the world you know just makes it extra special for some reason um but anyway i do appreciate your viewership very much i'm really glad you enjoy the videos i'm glad everyone out there enjoys the videos just a guy you know sharing my hobbies and stuff but i'm glad people enjoy seeing them so thank you so much for the very generous gifts i really do appreciate it and uh, i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video take care